we are going to talk about the ground support equipment responsible for removing human waste from the aircraft. It is called lavatory service equipment. We will begin the lecture with an overview of lavatorial requirements of an aircraft. We will talk about how aircraft handles human waste in flight and what role lavatory service equipment plays on ground. We will move on to discuss different types of lavatory service equipment used at airports and conclude the lecture with discussing major components of a lavatory service truck. We have already discussed that narrow body aircrafts like an Airbus A320 can carry more than 200 passengers while a code F aircraft like Airbus A380 can carry more than 500 passengers on board. However, what we didn't discuss was how long these many passengers remain in air. An Airbus A320 can fly non-stop for over 7 hours, for example between Bahrain and London Heathrow. A 777 and A380 can fly non-stop for over 17 hours on many long-haul international routes. Of course, when people are going to remain in an aircraft for such long periods, it will inevitably require an aircraft to have good lavatory system. There are old passengers, babies, and a lot of times sick passengers traveling on board, which makes aircraft toilets very busy. Apart from that, many wide-body aircrafts have luxury washrooms for their business class passengers. In view of all these factors, all commercial aircrafts have a specialized system for handling waste. If you look at the design of an Airbus A320, the toilets are located towards the tail of the aircraft, and similar is the case with most of other aircrafts. All wastewater from the toilets is collected in a waste tank, which for a narrow-body aircraft like an A320 can be of nearly 200 liters capacity. Grain line and flush line of this waste tank are carried to an outlet located near the tail of the aircraft which is used by lavatory service equipment to connect with the aircraft. This outlet is simple to understand. It has a drain line used for draining all the waste and a flush line that is used by lavatory service equipment to inject a disinfectant solution for rinsing the waste tank. The concept is simple. Aircraft remains in the air where passengers use the toilets. All the waste is drained by lavatory service equipment to empty the waste tank of the aircraft for the next flight. Lavatory service equipments service one or more aircrafts in a single go and then dump the waste in airport sewer line. And the airport sewer line is connected to the city sewer system. In this way, waste from the aircraft is dumped into the city sewer. There are two main types of lavatory service equipment. The first type is a lavatory service truck, which is the most common type where all equipment components are installed over a truck. The other type is a lavatory service cart, in which all components are installed over a cart that is needed to be towed to the desired location by a towing tractor. Almost all large airports use lavatory service trucks because they can service more aircrafts than a lavatory service cart and they don't require any external machine such as a towing tractor for moving them. It is just more convenient to use them. A lavatory service truck is simply a collection of components installed over a truck chassis. It has two main tanks. One is the waste tank that stores the waste drained from the aircraft and other is the flush tank that stores the disinfectant liquid often referred to as the blue water used for rinsing the aircraft's waste tank. Flush tank is installed with a pump used for pumping the blue water into the aircraft's waste tank for rinsing. Most modern lavatory service trucks are equipped with an aerial platform that allows the operator to reach the aircraft lavatory outlet because on larger aircrafts the outlet is quite high from ground level. Some trucks 
also have a vacuum system installed with the waste tank that allows faster suction to reduce service time. Some manufacturers also provide heaters in waste tank and flush tank to avoid the liquids from getting frozen in extremely cold weather. This was it for lavatory service equipment. See you in the next lecture.